Guys, we're here at Heritage Liquor and we're gonna get some good empanadas. Yeah, we're doing uh, international food this week. That's right, but we'll tell you more about it. Let's go get some food. Yeah. We're walking to the back of the liquor store. And here we are. So I told you this is a great place for Argentinian empanadas, as well as we're starting off with the Kilimin. Kilimin. Which Kilimin. is Argentina's number one beer? Number one beer. Kilimin. Not bad. It's kind of light. Like a... Not like a light. <laughs> yeah. We don't, we don't do that no more. Kilimin. Argentina's number one beer. It's, it's Kilimin. <laughs> it's the S's side. It's like a lager. It's pretty good. I think it could be a little colder, but other than that, it's pretty good. Not bad. All right, First so time trying it. We have uh, three beef empanadas and three spicy beef empanadas. Which we're not going to eat right now. We're not going to eat them all. We're just going to try yeah. one of each. But it, it has uh, onions, meat, chilies. Egg. Hard-boiled egg. egg. Hard-boiled egg and lots of seasonings. Which is, and this is one of the better empanada places for Argentinian empanadas, which we're yeah. a big fan of. And, and it's absolutely hidden. If yeah. you didn't know where it was, really? This is place is located right? in the back of this liquor store. I wouldn't think that you'd get like great food at places like this, but they're just tucked away in the back and there's no advertisements yeah. outside that say empanadas yeah. or anything like that. So you just kind of wander around and you find these type of places. So, hot tip of the day. Watch this video. We'll show you five places to go. That is absolutely hidden. These empanadas are $3 a piece, but they're pretty big. And that's roughly the going price these days, $3 for empanadas. Some days they have specials, not this place particularly, but uh, some of the places that we do go to get empanadas, they actually do have days where they get a dozen and they get a discount. So main market for you, the three beef and then the three spicy beef. All right, I think we should start off with the beef first, so. Oh yeah, because if it's too spicy, yeah. And right. so they have their chimichurri sauce, which is uh, like parsley, oil, chilies, and garlic, typically. And so we're doing the beef first, all right. Oh, yeah, those are pretty happy. These pretty ones big. are, these are baked. And the other place that we go to is actually, we get them fried. You can have them either way. I prefer fried. I like fried food. That's, oh, oh, it's hot. Very hot. Just came out of the oven. Wow. So lots of seasoning in there, some ground beef, eggs, of course. It has, uh, this one has bell peppers. This one does have bell peppers? Yes, it does. I'm going to try it without the chimichurri sauce first. It's a lot different than other places. It's still good. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty big, you guys. Yeah, a couple of these pull you up. I'm gonna try it with your chicken cherry sauce now. Aha! Mm. Wow, that looks yummy. Mm. I remember the first time Dave had it, and honestly, he's like, what is this? What is this thing in here? I'm like, it's a hard boiled egg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> remember? Kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> Without anything. You always try to do everything mm. without any Season sauce. well. You really taste the bell pepper? Yeah, there's a lot of meat. Oops. Let me get in there for a second. I have those videos too, babe. Uh, with the sauce, Jimmy Trey. Mm. It adds a little bit of moisture. As well as I taste lemon, which kind of wakes up your taste bud. Mmm. Good stuff. Yeah, try it with the chimichurri sauce. But try it by itself first. Oh, is that the spicy one? It is. I know what Dave's saying, but it's super hot. It's really hot. So, it pretty much looks the same. Yeah, just, you can see a little more green peppers in there. But she it's said it was mild. It has a different flavor, like spicy peppers. Mmm. But not hot. Is it hot? It is. I don't know what I like better. I think I like the spicy. Kathy's going in for some chimichurri sauce. Mm. Oh, Diana, I can't wait to have it. These empanadas go so good with this beer. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the first time I've ever actually drank alcohol inside of a liquor store. It's typically you know, legally <laughs> illegal. <laughs> Delicious. I've never drank. 
It builds, but it's not super spicy, but. Mm, there it is. It just kind of tingles your tongue a little bit. It's not like, mm, maybe it's growing a little bit. <laughs> it's delicious, you guys. No, it's, there's a little bit of spice. I mean, if you don't like spice, this will still be okay for you, I think. Hmm. Well. Grated bananas usual, in Orange County. Never let down. Mmm. So we'll put in the description below for the address. These things are three bucks a piece. You can get a, a dozen of them for thirty dollars, so you get a little discount there. Six bucks. That's a good discount. These things heat, reheat really well. And oftentimes we come here, we always get a dozen, so that we can eat them for a couple days. But mm, delicious. Don't miss out. We got more videos coming. What are we doing? Five hidden gems, which are absolutely hidden and lets you know where to go in. They're literally in the back of uh, supermarkets yeah. and grocery stores. Hi guys, so we're here in this amazing place that serves uh, Filipino food. So we got rice in panta, pan, I can't even say it. But I it's, see something, I don't know. But it's a Filipino it's a noodle. Filipino noodle. It's like a glass noodle almost, but really like, really small. And, and we got skewer. chicken skewer. So this is $8.99. Look at how big this is. That's $8.61 with tax. $8.61 with tax. And oh, so $7.99, not bad. Yeah. It smells really good. And there's this bakery right here. They have samples. It was so delicious. I think I might have to pick some up on the way home. Mm. I it's didn't even good. see you take a bite. Was it good? Mm. Very flavorful. A little bit of sweetness. Mm. I love the char on there. It's a, got a little sweetness to it. The food in here looks so good. I showed you some of it. Regular white rice. So you're gonna try the noodles? I am. The white rice actually have a flavor to it. Kind of reminds me of a like jasmine rice. It's pretty busy in here too, you guys. So yeah, everybody, everybody I saw online, they're all Filipino, so that's always a good sign. So I hope this video helps you guys hit that five hidden gems that you wouldn't even think of going into for food. But yeah, delish. All right. So new, these are all chewy. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, pretty good. It's very light and subtle flavor. I don't know what the flavor is. Yeah, it's not very... I want to say fish sauce. I was going to say it tastes a little fishy. Mmm. Wow, secures are good. Taste the char on there. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on in here. Definitely. Okay, I thought so. I couldn't tell because I had eaten the chicken. You would think it was dry, but it's not. It's delicious. Mm. Thank you for your service, guys. Thank you guys for your service. So good. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that you could come to a grocery store and get terrific already made food? I like the noodles. It's, I don't think Gabe likes it so much, but oh, oh my goodness. It's just a little bouncy. <laughs> Well, we got to move on to our next place. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Some Indian food, Indian fare over here. So we're here at Nina's. Dave was really hungry, so we got a uh, two item combo, both chicken masala, and it comes with garlic naan bread. And for all this food, $13.95. Not bad.
Am I right? Nope. $15.82. With tax? Yes, with tax. So this is a garlic on bread. So basically chicken tikka marsala is a, a yogurt marinated chicken. Then I think they grill it and then they have like cardamom, cumin. Ouch, hot. It's like a big piece of pizza. That's awesome. Peppers. Ow, it's so hot. Just came out of the oven. Can't place that flavor. Hmm. You got some out? Yeah, it's kind of like a vegetable, like a pumpkin flavor almost. It's a little sweet. I can't tell what that flavor is. It's very unique. Made a flavor. Mmm. Why can't I focus? There it goes. This basmati rice is delicious. Oh, Kathy, I think your basmati rice. I mean, that's quite a bit of food for 15 bucks when you think about it these days, right? Mmm. And the garlic. That's really good. Try the garlic naan bread. Very mild. If it's garlic, I wouldn't be able to point it out unless I know. But it's made fresh, very hot. That's really good. Nice and fluffy with a little crunchy on the outside. This is really good food, you guys. So uh, try the chicken for me. I didn't get to try the chicken yet. Again, the chicken is tender. Super tender. Typically yeah, marinated chicken. Tons of meat now, right? and It's uh, what should we call it? And you could use fork to cut it. I already had a bite. It's really tender. Is the sweetness coming from cinnamon? It could be. There is cinnamon in there. Cardamom, mm. uh, cumin, pepper. Maybe it's that cardamom. Maybe cardamom because you don't get that flavor in much food. Mm. Cardamom is a uh, typically, I think, more of an Indian. Oh my god, this is delicious. Indian spice. All right, Dave, try the chicken. Mm. Look at all that juice that we're gonna use to soak it up with that naan bread. It looks mm. like a chicken breast, correct? It is. Very hot. Yeah, be careful. It's good, it's definitely chicken breast. It's not um, not dry, but the sauce helps. Ah, you know, that's made with yogurt. Maybe it's a little bit of yogurt flavor you taste. Hmm. I think that's it. Because <laughs> it does have like that little sweet, that sweet, that sweet bitter. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah, so, overall. You guys saw us coming through the grocery store. This is all the way in the back. It's Nina's uh, Indian and British food. Hidden gems all over the place. And would you, ever, would you ever even think about going to a grocery store for food this good? If you know of any other places, drop a comment. We'd appreciate it. But like we said, five, not four, not two, five hidden gems in Orange County. Went around the world and never left the city. That's right. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That would help, help us out. If you know anybody who wants to go eat at great places, share the video. We would appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Fresh Chicharro. Hey guys, we're here at Tula's Market. It's in Lake Forest. They have delicious food. Dave and I usually pick up like a pan of carnitas or rice and beans and make our own dinner at home. But today I wanted to show you their taco. And they make their own corn tortillas here. Look at that. That's massive. Lots of carnitas in there. And their hot sauce, super oh, spicy. Really spicy. So let's check it out. You put it on all of it? Yeah. That's good. It's got a real good kick. Oh my goodness. So they double up the tortillas. because Look at this. Look how big that is. This thing is huge. That's it is it. five bucks, but all you need is one for lunch, right? I just think that's almost like a pound. Mmm. Oh my goodness. And again, this is... Really authentic. Tucked away in a little bit of a market. Oh my god, that's so good. That is a lot of mm. huge chunks of pork. Look at that. The flavor is just garlic, pork. Yeah, I've been to places the where the crunchy onions, the cilantro make it fresh. I've been to places where the carnitas didn't have a lot of flavor. Oh my god, that is huge. 
Yeah. It is really big. This is not one of your fast food joint or uh, tacos. So absolute hidden gem. If you don't know where it is, it's in Lake Forest. I'll put the descriptions below. <laughs> can't even open my mouth up to take a That bite. was a big bite for me too. Mm. My God. Sorry guys, we're gonna eat outside, it's getting windy. Yeah, it's the only place to eat is outside. But man. That is awesome. This is wonderful. Well, like you said, we're showing you all the little hidden gems in Orange County. This is one of them. Check it out if you like Mexican food, it's authentic. And come shopping here. The produce I showed yeah, you. they have really good awesome. produce. Awesome. Like, and then. We the, go get onions at the grocery store. It looks like somebody used it as a baseball. <laughs> hey, and they also have fresh chicharron. I showed you that too. Delicious. Next spot coming up. Hi guys, this is our uh, one of our secret spots. It's inside Mitsua, the grocery store. This is a spicy curry wagyu donut. Uh, donut, really? That's what they call it. They call it a donut. Oh my god! Oh wow! I love my curry. Oh, mm. oh. Oh, he just warmed it up for us. It's so hot. Mm. Wow, that looks delish. Oh, there's a great amount of curry in there. That's mm. beef. Did you get it any? I don't think I got any beef yet. It's somewhere in there. Oh, it's hot. Mmm, you know what? It does taste like a donut. <laughs> it's literally like a kind of a sweet, fluffy donut. With spicy with curry. With spicy curry in it. Oh, that's some um, umami right there, right? Yeah, it is. Here, Kathy, you try it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, the heat kind of carries over for a little bit. What do you think about the donut? It's really good. It's got the little sweetness to it, right? Mmm. Crunchy on the outside, really fluffy dough, and then the curry is delicious. Oh, I can't wait for another bite of that. Mmm. But this is our secret spot, so we got the spicy Wagyu curry donut. That costs uh, six bucks. Six ninety-five. This is a mochi donut, which cost $3.95? $3.60. And our cronut, which was $4.95. Yeah. I mean, nothing. These are our favorite safe. desserts. Yeah, these are well, not. This is new here inside the food court, so. Yeah, we've never had that. It looks delicious. But that I've had a million times, and it's always awesome. Right. This is the first time I got the spicy curry. It's good. It just hangs out. Yeah. It's, <laughs> you get that really good flavor. It's got really good flavor. I think I want one more bite. For you. They warm it up for you. You can take it home. And warm it up yourself. Mm. I recommend just that I'm doing it. Oh, yeah, there's some beef in there. It's delicious. So each of these are like mochi balls. That's delicious. Salted caramel. Wow. Oh, is that like a? It looks like it's mochi. It is mochi. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm a wow. big fan of mochi. Am I? It's okay. It kind of looks like a maple donut. Interesting. It's like really chewy, but not as dense as I thought it was going to be. Man, one little ball, you just keep on chewing on it for a while. But no, that's actually really good. I like that. That's going to be one of my new favorites. All right, this is our carnet. Oh. It's cold today. Is it usually cold? It is. So. The cream inside is so delicious. It's this super is light. A, it's not overly This is sweet. like one of our favorite things. It's not overly sweet. Mm. You would think so with all that powdered sugar, but it is not. It's really creamy. And it's got like a crunchy crust, kind of, a, kind of a, like a croissant, or croissant, kind of croissant-y. Aha, uh -huh. Dave and I had this uh, yeah, discussion I, last night. I remember being super soft on yeah. the outside, but I guess it's not. <laughs> Wow, that whipped cream filling is so good. It's good as you remember. It's mm -hmm. nice and cold. I like that. Haven't had that in like a year, but I wanted to show you. This is one of my favorites. I don't know. I'm really digging the, the curry donut. Well, look at your lips. Well, this is our 
are hidden gems inside, I mean really hidden, inside a grocery store. That's one of my favorite ramen places too. I'll have to do a video on that.